So in this video we're going to cover projects 22 through 31. And we're starting with project number 22, and that's the light police siren. That's what our circuit looks like. And the objective here is to build a police siren that's controlled by light using a photoresistor. So we've got our music and alarm integrated circuits all hooked up to our speaker here. The whole thing is turned on and off with our slide switch, and then we can control the playback via our photoresistor. So I just turn it on. And if I cover the photoresistor, it stops. If I let my finger off, it starts up. And we'll continue looping as long as that thing is uncovered. Now also, we've got this input on the alarm integrated circuit used in the middle here. We've got one on the left and one on the right. And using those in different places, we'll change it. We'll see that in other projects. So, that's how project number 22 works. So let's move on to project 23. So with project 23, it's more loud sounds. And basically the objective is just to modify the sound by putting another connector on this input here. So now we got two inputs on the alarm IC affecting the audio. So when we turn it on, it doesn't sound that much different from the last one. But what they're trying to do is simulate a machine gun with music. And of course the original function of the photoresistor still applies here. So that's how Project 23 is, so now let's do Project 24. Here with Project 24, you need some more loud sounds too. And the objective here is of course to change the sound around, but now instead of the one we had over here, we now moved the snap connector over to that input. And they're trying to recreate something that sounds like a fire engine with music. Let's see. Yeah, it's hard to tell the differences, but they're subtle. And yeah, the difference is hard to tell, but there is a slight difference there. So that's Project 24. Now let's do Project 25. Now we have Project 25, and it's more loud sounds 3. And the objective here is we're trying to make a circuit that sounds like an ambulance with music. And we took the snap connector off of here and added one across here. So it's using the output from the music IC to also operate that input port there. So when we turn it on, it's actually just really using the music IC. It's not making it really that much difference. That's how project number 25 works. So let's move on to project 26. So now we're on project number 26. More of that sounds four. It's the last variant of project 22. And the objective we have here is to make a circuit that sounds like a familiar song with a static. So we don't have this beam here anymore. It's now over here. So how will it affect it now? Again, the, the difference is kind of minor. It's only some differences since it's mixing the music I see and the alarm I see together. But that's project 26. So let's move on to project 27. Here we are with project number 27. And it is clap sounds. Here's what our circuit looks like. And the objective is to Build a police siren and other sounds that are controlled by clapping your hands. Of course, we can also tap on the whistle chip, which controls it there. So when we turn it on, the song will play as usual. Yeah, it's supposed to sound like a police siren. You could maybe just make out 
the music in the background which made up but the music I see is what controls the on and off function of the audio so if I tap the whistle chip it starts again and again our speaker is limited in its amplitude or volume because of our 100 ohm resistor so it's not as loud as like the speaker setup we had in the previous project we were working on so that's how project number 27 works so let's move on to project 28 here we are with project number 28 and it is more clap sounds and the objective here is to change the sound around by putting our black jumper wire across that connection into our third point on the alarm IC. And when I turn this on, and you see it's supposed to sound like a machine gun. And that's how project number 28 works. So let's move on to project 29. So here we are with project number 29. It's more clap sounds too. And our objective here again is to change the audio around. And we moved our jumper cable from here over to that input now. And they say it's supposed to sound like a fire engine. Let's see. I guess it could be a fire engine. Again, I tap the whistle chip and it restarts. So that's pretty much how Project 29 works. So let's move on to Project 30. There are Project 30, and that is More Clap Sounds 3. And the trick was still is to change sounds around. And now we moved our jumper cable and connected these two ports together. So now we got that on the music I see. It says it's supposed to sound like an ambulance, so let's see what it sounds like. I'm not sure if that really qualifies as an ambulance based on the way. But that's how, it, <coughs> that's how they say Project 3 is supposed to work according to their diagram. So that's Project 3. Let's move on to Project 31. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't bring you Project 31 because I accidentally shorted out the alarm IC. So I've got a replacement coming for that, but that doesn't work for the time being. But Project 31 just remove the black jumper cable off the previous project and take that number 3 snap that's up top that's on the number 2 input and just move it over to the left one so that it's on input one. That's all Project 31 is.